It's about to be the weekend, yet the government is very much open for business. The record-long shutdown that went into its 36th day, now over, at least for the next three weeks. About 90 minutes ago, President Trump signed the bill officially reopening all parts of the federal government. Workers who have missed a month of pay should get it all back next week. Now, the deal only guarantees 21 days without a shutdown. For now, the president has backed from demanding immediate money for a border wall, but he says another shutdown could happen if he doesn't get a fair deal from Congress. No matter what, the anxiety is closer to being over tonight for the 800,000 federal employees about to finally get paid. Their last paycheck a few days after Christmas. CBS 4's Francis Wang is live at the Coast Guard Station in Miami Beach where members' hard work goes on tonight, now with a functioning government behind them. Francis. Hey, Ruta Bay Elliott, good evening to you guys. Yeah, definitely the employees here at the U.S. Coast Guard in Miami just breathing a sigh of relief that the government shutdown, at least for now, is over. Really, employees at all federal agencies across the country, many of the ones we spoke with here in Miami say they're still on guard, though. And meanwhile, churches and nonprofits and other organizations on hand ready to help no matter what happens. It's been absolutely amazing to be able to help each other out, but I get to go back to work on Monday. I can't wait. <laughs> But no matter the coast, no matter the state, no matter the agency, from the U.S. Coast Guard to the prison workers right here in Miami, everyone's more than ready to get paid to work again. Union Rep Kareen Tritino would know. I have one employee who has four kids. His wife is ill, and he pays over $1,200 a month in co-pays just for medicines. Um, the stories went on and on and on. I, for one, am very elated. I, I'm very happy that we get a little break, even though it's three weeks, perhaps, but everyone is being very cautious. And maybe for good reason. Although federal employees and families were relieved by President Trump's announcement, they know this agreement might be temporary. The word from our prison, we're very happy that this is concluded temporarily, but we're somewhat preparing for the future in case it happens again. Right, right. And we made some incredible contacts with the local community with churches specifically. Churches in our area have really been heaven sent for many families. Even on the night the government shutdown was announced over, United Church of Christ in Fort Lauderdale still put on a dinner for those affected. This quickly organized by volunteer Kevin Clevenger in honor of his grandmother who just passed away Thursday. She would say this is the perfect community event. I know she's proud of me. It's community gatherings like this that Tritino says give federal employees the support, strength, and spirit that they needed to get through the past 35 days. And the concerns of employees was very real. I don't think we could have held on for another two weeks. And what Tritino was referring to, he's the union rep for federal prison employees here in Miami. That yet another two weeks would have meant yet another missed paycheck today was actually the second paycheck that federal employees did not receive. We're live tonight in Miami Beach. Francis Wang, CBS 4 News tonight.